Ross Selvage Denim by nature is a very complex entity, but at the end of the day, we're all here for fades. And with the real tight-knit community of this niche, there's a lot of misinformation or rather miscommunication that goes around. At the end of the day, most of us have the best intentions at heart and want to create the best fades that we could possibly get from our jeans, as well as helping others who are either very seasoned in the raw denim game to get better fades or to help break in a new person into the beautiful, wonderful world that is raw selvage denim. Because at the end of the day, you're really building your own garment with your lifestyle style, body movement, pretty much anything that you're doing in your jeans, you're really putting your own stamp and leaving your own mark on this garment that at one point was identical to so many others. And the only reason why it's so different and becomes so beautiful is because of you and the way that you live your life. So with that, there's a lot of people that try to prolong the life of their jean, as well as develop the quickest way possible to get fades. And a lot of these ideas, theories, ideologies just really aren't true. And on the other hand, some of them are. So that's why today I want to do a deep dive into to some of the biggest raw denim myths within the selvage denim community. I want to start with the first myth. Does heavier weight denim actually fade faster than lightweight denim? Now this is a really interesting one because it actually happens to be true but not in the way that you think. So it's not that it actually fades faster than lighter weight denim. It's that the fades are actually a lot more pronounced. Someone actually even argued to say that it actually fades slower than lightweight denim. But the thing is you get such a sharp contrast in a real heavy fade line because of the weight of the denim and because of the abrasion that it can actually take. Heavier weight denim actually tends to usually last longer up to a degree because if you get too heavy, I've actually seen them ruin faster. But basically the general rule of thumb is the longer that you're gonna have your jeans, the better the fades are gonna be. And this is actually true. But it's not that it fades faster, it's just that they last longer, which ultimately leads to better fades eventually, which is why a lot of people opt for heavyweight denim to get these real high contrast fades, especially since the crease lines really set in very well and they also retain their shape very well as opposed to a lighter weight denim that really doesn't retain that shape it kind of bounces back to its own kind of flat self which is just the nature of fabric in general the thing is there's really no way that i know of to speed up or accelerate the way that a denim is going to fade other than wearing it every day but at the end of the day the fabric has its own nature every cotton every fabric is going to fade differently they all have their own individual properties so the fading time is really unpredictable even if someone has the same exact gene as you but basically at the end of the day does heavy weight denim fade faster than lightweight denim? No, I don't think it does. I think that it just pronounces itself much more and gives a more sharp, more clear fade, which gives the illusion that these jeans are gonna fade more than a lighter weight denim. Next up is my favorite one. A lot of people seem to believe that one wash denim does not fade. So does one wash denim actually fade? Yes, 100% it does. One of my favorite examples to use for this is the sugarcane Hawaii wash jeans that I have. They're my favorite raw denim, my favorite current project pair. And these came to me as a one wash unsanforized denim and these had a beautiful vibrant blue color right out the box and these actually are probably the fastest fading jeans that I've ever worn believe it or not even though they're a one wash denim the thing that we really have to understand is that indigo never really penetrates fully the cotton fiber so technically anything that's dyed with synthetic indigo or natural indigo as long as it maintains the indigo properties at heart these garments are going to fade whether it's a jacket whether it's a shirt whether it's a t-shirt which I've actually seen whether it's raw one wash pre-washed, these garments are going to fade. I've even seen people fade down pre-washed denim. Like I said, as long as the denim has been dyed with indigo, it's always going to fade. Now, do I think you're going to get high contrast fades from a pre-washed denim? Of course not. It's already faded down, but it's still going to continue to fade even after you've worn it and even after you've washed it. I even have a pair of nudie pre-washed denim that they explicitly say that even though it's pre-washed, it's still going to fade down to your body movement because of the indigo dye that's used. One wash denim is going to fade and it actually fades to a really beautiful color and yes you can still get high contrast fades with one wash denim which I've actually seen from the same exact pair of jeans that I have right here from this picture from self edge so don't be afraid of one wash denim it's becoming so much more popular so many more brands are dabbling into it because it actually has a lot of benefits such as removing the shrinkage out of the fabric before it's even delivered to you and it's also helping brighten up the blue so this way when you first get the denim you're not really actively looking for the fading because you already have a beautiful jean and it's gonna get there eventually. I find that a lot of people with raw denim they're always looking for the fade but never really enjoying the journey or the jean that you have but with one wash denim you're able to do that because it has so many blue gradations and such a gorgeous vibrant shade and you should really cherish your denim from beginning to end. The next one is a really good one that actually CRD has talked about in one of his videos and the question is does soaking your denim ruin your raw denim? Soaking raw selvage denim does not ruin your denim. In fact, 
product, it actually has more advantages than disadvantages. But a lot of people say if you soak your denim, it's gonna get into the white weft and you're gonna ruin your fades because now you're dying your white weft. Guys, this is literally impossible for you to achieve. It is literally truly impossible for you to put your jeans in a bathtub with cold water and expect the excess dye from the top layer of the fabric to penetrate the white yarn of the bottom layer of the fabric. It just doesn't work like that. You gotta understand that the way you even achieve a denim dye is that these guys or these factories have to take the physical yarn fibers and dip them into a bunch of vats of highly concentrated indigo dye over and over and over again, sometimes 13 times, sometimes 16. And these are really highly concentrated vats of indigo that are meant to achieve this dark dye. So for us to really believe that we're gonna dye our jeans by accident is truly foolish. Soaking your raw denim is not only safe, but is actually advised by a lot of brands and a lot of raw denim enthusiasts that are seasoned within this niche and have a lot of jeans that are high contrast even after soaking your denim. CRD actually soaks his denim as soon as he gets it before even wearing it. All you're doing to your denim is removing the shrinkage and removing the excess indigo on the top of the denim, which is only going to benefit you in the long run. Next up, is selvage denim actually better? Basically, no. It doesn't exclusively mean that your jeans are better than others. Selvage denim only refers to how the denim is woven, particularly how it's woven on a shuttle loom as opposed to a projectile loom. But really the quality of your denim boils down to a lot of different things. At the base level, what type of cotton are you using? Where is it coming from? Is it organic cotton? Is it Zimbabwean cotton? Is it combed? Is it carded? What is the staple length of the cotton? And then if you really wanna get down to it, where is the dye coming from? Is it natural indigo? Is it synthetic? What is the finishing technique? Is it sanferized? Is it unsanferized? And then from a manufacturing perspective, does it have a chain stitch waistband? Does it have a chain stitch hem? Is the stitching clean? Do you have rivets? Is it bar tacked? There was a lot of different things outside of the realm of just being selvage denim fabric that determine the quality of your jeans. Selvage denim doesn't exclusively mean good denim because I'll be honest with you, I have seen a lot of shitty selvage denim jeans at really high price points before. Selvage denim does not exclusively mean better, but because of the expense of selvage denim and how much it costs to actually make the fabric and to get it and to sew it, brands tend to purchase higher quality selvage denim and mills tend to manufacture higher quality selvage denim out of higher quality materials to justify the price point when you balance it against the quality. Now for the last myth, should you never wash your raw denim? And the answer is no, you have to wash your jeans. Please wash your jeans. You really want to avoid never washing your jeans because what's going to happen is your jeans are going to deteriorate, they're not going to look good, you're going to smell, and they're going to look disgusting after a while. The oils from your skin are really going to yellow and make your jeans look kind of slimy and they're going to be uncomfortable at a point. Now I'm not saying wash your jeans right out the box unless you want to, but basically a general rule of thumb of when you should wash your denim is eight months of consistent wear if you're trying to get high contrast fades and three months of consistent wear if you want vintage fades and then you want to wash them again after about a month of consistent wear and basically what this is going to do is it's going to prolong the life of your jean and like i said in the beginning of the video the longer you have your jeans the better the jeans are going to fade thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you making it to the end of the video i'm sorry my voice is a little bit coarse i recently got sick and i thought that i was going to be better by today unfortunately that's not the case so i really hope that the audio wasn't unbearable but anyways thank you guys again we're almost at 2,000 subs and i really want to express my appreciation the love that i have for you guys i really just can't even believe how fast we're growing and honestly the journey has been so much fun so with that being said let's get us to 2k subs thank you guys again and i'll see you next week